All right, we're on the front cowl here, and for the sake of time, what we've done is we've already finished the right-hand side of the car, just to give you an indication of, of uh, how it looks when it's finished. So we put our side panel sheet on, which, which starts as a sheet this big. So you have a lot of versatility um, in the wraps uh, that we produce for golf cars as far as positioning. Just remember when your sheet comes uh, over the front cowl, normally we're allowing about a one inch overlap. But positioning wise, depending on the pattern you're using, you have the ability to kind of move it where you want it. So um, when you get it all installed, you know, your overlaps are, are almost invisible, especially with a busy pattern um, like this one, which is called Liberty Star. So. Uh, the advantage of having a really busy pattern like this is it covers up a lot of imperfections. So if your golf car is in imperfect condition, which uh, normally they aren't, and that's one of the reasons that people are choosing to wrap them, uh, with a really busy pattern like this, um, it covers over uh, a multitude of imperfections and very, very uh, unobvious. So um, this is what it looks like. We've done our trimming to edge. Uh, regarding this seam, um, you had seen where we're warming it and using the squeegee to push it down into the seam. Um, it's not a super deep seam, so um, going in there, staying in there isn't an issue. Uh, post heating after you've done that, and actually the whole thing is uh, of utmost importance, so keep that in mind to do your post heating um, and be diligent about doing that. So we're going to move over to the unfinished area, and we're going to show you some basic trimming because a lot of people ask us about how to trim. So we've worked the film down into position. It's all the way over to the bottom edge. We've taken our heat in our glove and we've warmed this bottom edge. Now we're gonna use a single edge blade that works really great. And you're gonna rest it on the, the bottom corner holding the material and you just run the blade along the edge and that's giving you a nice finished um, cut edge to the material. And if you have to, you can go back and you know tighten it up if you get a little bit of a, a lip here. This particular golf car is pretty dirty, um, so it would require more cleaning if you decided that you wanted to tuck the film down under this little bar as an example. You have to do just as much cleaning under there as you would for the side panels, but that's totally up to you as the installer as to you know how, how you choose to finish your, your material. So we're just running the blade along the edge, taking off that excess. And once we have it off, again, you're gonna take your heat gun and you're gonna go along that edge, warming it, getting it nice and warm. That's gonna help the film to take its permanent bond. And we've got our crease down here. So up along the top, normally what we do is uh, take your blade, and uh, you have this trim piece right here that you're gonna just uh, fit the blade right in the corner of that trim piece, piece, that's your guide. And you can just run the blade right along that trim piece and that'll allow you to pull the material right out as you go. And we're gonna work down and around the corner down to the edge. So once you get it off, we're gonna take our squeegee and our heat source, and we're gonna warm this upper edge. Again, this is part of post heating. And we're taking the squeegee and working that material uh, up into, and in some cases underneath, that trim piece there. There's really no reason to take that trim piece off. If you've done your good surface prep, the material will be fine. And so you got that nice and warm, and you can go back and even do it, do it more. All right, so... Keep in mind too, um, you know, one of the main reasons, as we mentioned, that people do golf cars is because they have imperfections on the car. So it's not uncommon to have little chips and gouges, sometimes even cracks. 
the nice thing about wrapping film is it covers over you know all those things and basically makes the car look brand new so if you have a cart that's you know not perfect that's a great candidate for a golf car wrap uh, and even little cracks in the body aren't necessarily um, going to be an obstacle per se unless you've got like a whole chunk that's actually missing um, don't let that be something that would deter you from considering a golf car wrap and you can always call us uh, let us know what you have, uh, email us some pictures, whatever, and um, you know, we'll give you an honest opinion on, on, uh, on the project and give you some direction. So um, as we mentioned before, when you put your front cowl piece on, you want to wrap it as far over and as cleanly as you can um, down, the, down, down the side here. And of course, that's to um, get you as far down so you have a nice starting point and surface for the side panel piece which is going on next. So remember between panels every time you're going to re-wipe. So rubbing alcohol, kitchen paper towel off the roll, don't use a shop rag, uh, shop towels, just paper towel off the roll just like this. Making sure you get your surface re-wiped so that it's ready to accept the film. And then you're going to take your panel, and like we said, uh, traditionally with the golf car wraps, we're leaving about uh, a one inch overlap for pattern match. And we're going to take it, and if we look at the pattern, like this particular pattern, we see the, the dark blue and the light blue, and we've got dark blue, light blue. That's, that's basically your connecting point. So we've got about one inch, and what we want to do is turn it on the other side, we turned it so that the red meets the corner, which is about right there. So we'll let that fall and grab our squeegee. And you're going to start from your in the smooth area and squeegee your overlap. And the same thing, same principle applies with this panel as well. You know, the tighter you have it, um, tented over the surface in many cases uh, the easier it is or you can kind of start it from the center and just work from the middle to the outsides again because the film is is so forgiving and is cast wrapping film it's it's very durable it's very hardy you can really work the film this is the same film that, that we use to do complete uh, vehicle wraps uh, locally and it's it's a great product lays out nice very durable and so we're just laying the film in We've got the overlap there's a little ledge here if you take your squeegee and just run it over top of the ledge push the film down we'll be able to work it into place. Again, the film is quite forgiving. Now, with busier patterns, um, any of these overlaps that you have, uh, virtually invisible when you're done. When you get into doing solids, you have to be a little more uh, careful with your overlaps and uh, where you seam the patterns together to make sure that you know you've got a clean overlap that you know that gives the effect of of say a finished paint job because uh, that's what most people are going for when they when they work with solids and solids are a great option and uh, a lot of people really like solids because they like to match uh, various teams and uh, schools and things of that nature and uh, our options for solid colors are continuing to grow. So the website continues to change. So we've got this material installed. Um, you can take your heat gun just to make sure you're, you're at the edge. Warm it up, tighten it up. Take your squeegee. Make sure you're down in position there. find our edge
right to the bottom. You can even find the edge of the panel here. Run your blade across the bottom. Use your squeegee to squeegee it into position. Same with the molding here. So I'm using that molding uh, as my edge. It's basically a, it's like a guide for your blade. And I'm doing it left-handed too, goodness. Pull the material off. So once you've got it, got it trimmed, then you can, again, I can't stress enough how important post heating is because that's basically your insurance that the material is going to stay in place for years to come. And again, the name of this particular pattern uh, is called Liberty Star. Really cool, grungy look. And so you go back around the car, do all your post heating. And enjoy your golf car wrap. And that pretty much covers some of the basics with installing a golf car wrap. Uh, regarding the emblem in the front, um, the easy goes have holes, um, the club cars have smaller holes. You can choose to put your emblem back on or you can leave it off or I know um, there are companies including uh, us that have new emblems that can be uh, put in place but certainly you could leave it just like that. Um, it really doesn't take away from the look of the wrap and gives you kind of a continuous theme throughout. So we hope that these tips have proved helpful for you uh, when you're installing uh, vinyl wrapping film.